Bandemir Speedway and the Jefferson County Health Department make their closing arguments before a judge about keeping fans safe during the pandemic. Good afternoon, I'm Andrea Flores bringing you CBS 4 News at Noon live on CBS 4 and CBSN Denver. The argument is all over whether the raceway has to get special approval each time it hosts an event. Our Rick Salinger is live. Rick, what is the latest? Andrea, the hearing has now concluded with Judge Tamara Russell saying she will not be able to reach a decision today on the request for a temporary injunction by the county against Bandemir. However, the temporary restraining order remains in effect. This after 7,500 people showed up there last weekend with a maximum capacity allowed of 175. It was called a Freedom Festival with drag racing and fireworks. Dr. Mark Johnson, the Jeffco Health Director, testified this morning that he felt duped after the event. Track owner John Bandemir took the stand, saying he thought they had an understanding that they could hold the event with thousands of people. Did the Speedway violate the county and state order last weekend. The county attorney made clear that they intend to seek a contempt action on uh, what happened on the 4th of July against the Bandemir Speedway, so we have no comment on that at this time. Throughout this event, this uh, two-day hearing, there have been people that have been standing outside in the scorching heat, trying to take cover underneath trees in support of the Bandemir Speedway. And when the uh, legal team and John Bandemir Jr. emerge, we expect that they will get a hearty greeting. What the county said in closing was they're not trying to shut the speedway down. They're just trying to make them do the same thing that everybody else has to do. Live in Jefferson County, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.